I'm recording this while Nate's in the shower so that he can't sit in the next room and judge me for talking to myself. Hello, and welcome to another video where I attempt to be crafty. Before I begin, um, let us have a moment of silence for the fallen. Yeah, so I um, kind of messed up my camera and uh, this entire thing was shot on my phone, which means that it's super ugly because apparently exposure lock means nothing to Apple. And also I was super lazy, so I didn't really do different angles. It's all just overhead time lapse. <laughs> Until I figure out the camera situation, please enjoy watching the craft slowly drift off camera and my head just slowly peek in because I have no regard for what part of my desk is being filmed. <laughs> On to the making stuff. It is June and virtual graduation is next week, so of course I decided to decorate my cap. Um, I went into this project with a very unusual level of confidence because I knew that if I messed up, no one would have to see it because it's virtual. So I just like threw the paint straight on there. I started by measuring the size of my cap so I could plan out the design. Um, I already had a very specific meme in mind, so I laid it all out in Photoshop using the dimensions. Um, one of the things I had to keep in mind while making the design was incorporating the weird little tassel bump in the middle, but I think I've found a pretty decent solution that turned out cute. Um, you'll also notice that I left the asterisks out and first and added them in later because the font I had didn't use them for some reason, I don't know. Um, I printed out the design and I cut it out so I could see how it would look on the hat when finished. And then I made some holes at the corners of the main image and marked them on the cap so I would know where the edges of the painting were supposed to be. And then I just used some masking tape to seal the borders. I started with a base coat of white so the other colors would actually be visible. And also because this paint that I had claimed to be good for multiple surfaces like fabric. So hopefully if I put it down before my regular acrylics, they wouldn't peel. I'd seen other videos where people like painted over black hats and they commented on how the material was like really absorbent and had to put like multiple layers down for it to be clear. So I assumed that I was going to need a lot of white paint and I, I just put like way too much, which is uh, clearly a pattern during this video. I traced my Pikachu on with pencil, um, just, you know, the regular like coloring the back and then tracing over it. Um, I started with the yellow for the face. My yellow was like really really bright and I wanted to mix it in a little orange to make it warmer like the original picture um, but my orange was like neon and I put a little too much and the result was just bad so then I watered it down and then I put a second coat of yellow and like in the end I managed to fix it. The borders were like really messy but I didn't worry about it because I knew I would just end up painting over it with like a darker color with the green and the brown and all. Onto the background trees or whatever that's supposed to be. Um, I was feeling really lazy, so I just used my plain greens that came in the paint set, which was a mistake. It was so saturated and so bright, but I ended up fixing it later. Um, noting this mistake, I made a lighter, slightly desaturated brown for the branch, and I also did mix colors to get a good shade of red for the blush. The mouth is not great if you're looking at the color it's supposed to be, but it's fine. It, it's whatever. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> the cap is two shades of very dark gray, slightly different just to separate the top from the bottom and also to make sure that the outline would still be visible over it. I tried to make the outline like slightly brownish to match the cartoon style, but the brown didn't actually end up being super visible. Um, I also definitely did not have the right brush for this. It was too long and too soft and the lines were just not smooth and varying in thickness and um, considering the original image though and how like pixelated and terrible quality it is, if you don't look too closely, the cap is pretty good and I'm just gonna say it was an artistic choice. From the edges, it was now super obvious that I put way too much white paint and like I should not have pushed huge globs of it to the edges where it seeped under the tape, but it's okay. For the letters, I chose a very blocky font so I could make a stencil because I wouldn't have been able to paint them on Neely, especially after trying the outline of the Pikachu. Um, I printed the design with the letters only and some guidelines on sticker paper. 
and let me just say cutting these letters out was a challenge it took a lot of patience and skill with the exacto knife which luckily i have thanks to that one horrifying eighth grade honors art project where we had to shade the entire piece by making a collage tracing and cutting out tiny pieces of paper <sighs> It took me two attempts to get it right, and I also didn't record most of it because I was supposed to be in class. Anyway, I stuck the whole thing on the hat and commenced painting. What I did to avoid the weird messy edge paint globs from my first white layer earlier was to paint the letters on slightly pushing the paint inwards from the edge instead of outwards. And then after every few letters, I would cut out the sticker paper and peel it off so that um, I could make sure there wasn't paint stuck under the stencil, like it wouldn't dry that way. In the end, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, doesn't really matter much since graduation is virtual, but you know what? I'm proud of myself for not screwing this one up. So uh, why frame my diploma when I can hang this up? <laughs> my true achievement from the end of high school. 